Successful waterfall hunting almost always consists of proper timing. Determining when the migration of birds will pass by a given location, then finding a likely ambush spot and hope they land there. Guess wrong, and you could be staring at a lot of empty sky. But what if you could get to the actual nesting grounds and hunt before the migration even begins? It sure would eliminate the guesswork, and that's exactly what I got to do early last fall. Joining me is Jerry Riggy, general manager of Capra Sporting Goods and professional waterfall hunter. We are on the ultimate goose hunting adventure along the western shore of Hudson Bay in northern Manitoba, where millions of Canada geese, snow geese, Ross's geese, ducks, and ptarmigan call their summer home. Our destination is Kaskatama Goose Lodge, 650 miles north of Winnipeg, a luxurious resort created exclusively for waterfall hunters. Don't go away, because when we return, Jerry and I will be hunting amidst the greatest concentration of waterfall on the planet. This portion of today's show is brought to you by Evinrude Outboard Engines. Mike Bowl is general manager of Kaskatama Goose Lodge. Before we headed out, he explained the layout of the area and the options for the hunters. Mike, explain to us a little bit about the area and what the hunters can expect when they come up on a goose hunting trip like this. Our camp is situated right here, Tony. This is the Kaskatama River and it flows out into the Hudson Bay. This is the ocean here. This is all of Hudson Bay. This is Hudson Bay, the water, yes. So the geese mainly migrate from the east going west and we have blinds, we have over 20 blinds set up with decoys in all of them throughout this area here. Uh, if some of the hunters wish to fly out further to look for more birds, they can use our helicopter, they can fly up and down the coast an unlimited number of miles to sightsee or to bird hunt. Now in this section of the camp, or this section, what you call the island, that's how do you primarily hunt that? We have two Argos that travel through here, drop off hunters in situated blinds, wherever we think the birds are going to be that day, depending on the wind direction and the weather conditions. Uh, we have over 20 blinds, like I said earlier, and there's several good areas, different feeding for them, different feeding grounds for them. There's berries that they feed on, grasses. Uh, they have a variety of things that they want to, want to feed on as they stage, as they're coming through this area. So either you can hunt the island with the Argos, or you've got the choice to jump in the helicopter and virtually fly anywhere that you can find a number of geese. The helicopter can set you down, and within minutes, you'll actually be hunting. Jerry and I opt for the helicopter ride out to the Delta. Talk about door-to-door -door service, there's a Bell Long Ranger parked right outside our door. As we cruise over the vast delta, it's clear to see why waterfall choose this region for summering. Rivers and marshes stretch forever. There are no roads or buildings. It's a paradise for nesting wildlife and truly an outdoor frontier. In a matter of seconds, our gear is unloaded and we are ready to set up our blind and decoy spread. There goes Al in the helicopter, Jer. You know, folks, we've got a really interesting situation where we've set up today. What we've got here, again, we're, what we're hunting is tidal area. Hudson Bay is probably no more than 100, 150 yards to our right. Right here, it's the only cover that exists in this area is these little willow trees like this. You can see in here, I believe is what they are, is, is willow trees. Our cover is only probably two feet high. We've brought some blind material with us and we've got a little island of willow. Now Jer, the, the area out in front of us here is, is kind of a tidal, what truly tidal flat. There's mud out there. How should we be setting these decoys? Well, you know, what we want to do is we want to get the decoys in a V and, and have the birds work 
downwind of us. I mean, those the last few birds that we've seen out here are going to be real low today. With the wind that we got today, they're going to be tight to the ground. So what you want to do is you always want to leave them a place where they can sit down, where where we can where we can get as close to them as we can in the decoys. And so we'll be setting the decoys up. The wind's blowing. Um, it's it's still relatively nice, but we, we've got relatively big winds. And you know the the other thing up here, folks, is that the weather is changing constantly. In five minutes from now, this little cell could blow over, and it might be blue skies. So you never know what type of weather uh, you're going to be faced with. Tony, there's thousands of them down here. Is there really? Just it, thousands of them. Just spread out all throughout that flat there? I mean, there's birds from, there's about a half a mile of birds down there. There's some birds working right over there. There's lots of Canada's down in the, the bottom side of it, but there is snow geese as far as you can see down there. Here's some, Jack. Jack, here's some. Get down As we were picking these geese up, some more came in. You can see that these are pretty mature blues. Just absolutely beautiful birds. There's more birds coming. I got one more behind me there. I gotta get moving. There's a lot of them up in the air right now. Yeah! Two those, out of, two right out of three ain't bad. No, we got them all. <laughs> we got them all. I didn't see the other one go down. Okay. When are you going to shoot? When are you going to shoot? Are you going to shoot? I stood up and they didn't even fly. <laughs> they just stood there. You know, it's one of the advantages of this big win. I mean, you only lead them about this far. Well, it's not like they're out there a long way either. Because snow in Canada goose numbers are extremely high, today bag limits are very low. For each hunter, they can shoot 20 snow geese a day, 5 Canadas a day, 8 ducks a day, and... Ten ptarmigan a day. Here, look to your left. some shells. Winchester loves us on this type of a trip. Great ammo. It's probably about the eighth or ninth box. <laughs> I, re I was shooting them three and a half chair for a while and, and the, the little thing here it got my from my bibs got me all bruised up. I went back to these threes that don't make a difference. 